Hello, so about three to four years ago when I first built my PC uh, for some reason memory was on the high side so I cheaped out on a WD Green M.2 form factor 120 gig mainly for my OS uh, and despite my best efforts at trying to do my housekeeping to keep that drive clean uh, it has started to fill up so I've decided now is the time to upgrade so I found this NVMe one terabyte made by a data on Amazon for just shy of 140 pounds uh, and as a bonus it also came with a five monthly interest free installment plan so it goes without saying that the NVMe on paper is going to be a far superior drive to the WD green SATA uh, but I'm more interested in real world gains now I'm not a gamer but I do a bit of video editing um, so I use the free VSDC software now uh, particularly with 4k footage I have found that any more than two video streams uh, I can start to experience either freezing or stuttering so what I thought I'd do is I would uh, max out as many streams as I can on the WD green and then I'll um, switch out to the um, NVMe drive perform the same tests and see if there are any improvements no idea what's going to happen but I thought I'd share these results with you um, so let's get on with the tests so to begin with a quick benchmark on both of these drives and as you can see on paper the A data wipes the floor with the WD. So starting with the WD SATA, two 4K streams playing simultaneously, no problems whatsoever. So stepping up to three streams yeah, it looks pretty good. The clouds are slightly less fluid versus the two streams, but it still gets a pass. We're now up to four 4K streams on the WD SATA. And yeah, it's completely frozen. Yep, I've had to hit the play button again to get it moving. But yeah, so we've maxed out at four streams. So we're now going to carry out the same tests, but this time with the newly installed NVMe hard drive. Hopefully you can see that there. So as expected, the NVMe breezed through the three stream test. So I've jumped straight to the four streams. And yeah, it's a bit choppy, but it is playing. Um, so definitely an improvement over the SATA. So now we're in the five stream territory for the NVMe. And it, well, it's having a go, but no, it's come to a complete standstill. So. I think it's safe to say that the NVMe uh, maximum number of streams would be four. So to conclude, in these tests, did the NVMe outperform the SATA? Yes, absolutely, albeit it was marginal. Um, if I had enough storage on my M.2 SATA, would I have upgraded? Probably not. Um, however, if you are running out of storage on your M.2 and crucially if your motherboard can support an NVMe uh, for this price, there's not much difference between a 1TB NVMe and a 1TB M.2 SATA. I would definitely go for the NVMe. Um, I'll leave the links below. Hope you found it helpful. Until the next time.